Hello and welcome to a new Blender quick tip. Today we look at how to bake an ambient occlusion map in Blender. Uh, for this first you have to create UVs otherwise it doesn't work. So I'm just using Susan in that case because there are already UVs that have been created. The next thing you have to do is you have to be in the material. You have to use nodes and in the already existing material, you have to use an image texture. You can just put it straight into it and you just go and create a new one. At that case, you just maybe type AO and maybe for that case, the resolution is good enough. Otherwise, you just go higher, maybe 4K or 8K even. You can use the alpha, but I think in that case, I'm just switching it off. Okay, so the next thing we have to do is we just go here and we are using cycles for that case because cycles only bakes ambient occlusion. We go to the bake option, down to the bake option. You can also go down with the resolution maybe to 64 or maybe, yeah, 512. That's okay. Switch it to zero, go to denoise, and then you have some options here in the bags tab. And we choose ambient occlusion, and that's it. You can maybe change the size, but in that case, I'm just leaving it like this, and you just go to bake. And as you can see, it bakes down the texture. One little quick tip you have to to select the texture on which you are baking the ambient occlusion. And as you can see, it just did a fine job just baking down the ambient occlusion. So that's how you bake an ambient occlusion map. I hope you enjoyed it. A little quick tip. Um, you have to save the texture map, otherwise it's gone when you open it the next time. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If there's anything else, just leave a comment in the comment section. Otherwise, see you next time and God bless you.